is the Savage Nation. Uh, I think someone has hacked the show, and that you, uh, if you're listening to the show, it means you've hacked into the uh, show and found it. It's a very hard show to find, although it's on 310 or so stations across America. It becomes increasingly clear to me that the uh, noose is tightening around freedom of speech in this country, both from internal and external uh, sources, and that people who listen to this show really work hard to find this show, and I want to thank you for listening. The fact of the matter is, the big topic is that Obama's lying again, and he's a very dangerous Marxist, in my humble opinion, because he's attacking the essence of democracy, he's attacking entrepreneurship, he's attacking small business owners, and he's claiming you had nothing to do with your, starting your own company. So, oh, I'm bored of this savage. Move on. Give us a meatball recipe. Show us how to make a sausage. Tell me something funny. Give me a story about old New York. I'm sick and tired of the story. But I want to remind you that Obama had the, the skids greased for him. He fundamentally was a rich kid. His grandmother and grandfather, they weren't wealthy, but they didn't, they didn't let him do the menial jobs that I did. He never pumped gas, changed tires, washed cars, shined shoes, cleaned bronzes, was never a busboy waiter, lifeguard, newspaper boy, never walked dogs, shoveled snow, mowed lawns, uh, swept drugstores, or worked in a factory, so far as I know, while I did. So for him to say that I got where I am, for example, I find very, very offensive. Every step of the way in my life, Let's start with the radio career. People try to block me and stop me. They said you won't do it, you can't do it. They did everything they could at the local station. And same is going on now in syndication. Every step of the way, there are people who want to stop you, block you, or obstruct you, or destroy you. Every step of the way. So if you think that people get where they are by accident, you're mistaken. I don't know, maybe some do. I'm sure that Obama did. I'm sure he was put there by some very powerful, invisible hands. That we'll never know. I have some suspicion as to who did it. I know some of the moguls in Hollywood who allegedly put him in office because they started raising money for him before anyone ever heard of this guy. Uh, guys like Geffen, well-known kingmakers like Geffen. We know Katzenberg, Katzenberg, Matzenberg, Ratzenberg, and Spielberg raised money for Obama before anyone ever heard of him. And we know why they did it. We know that Geffen, Katzenberg, Katzenberg, Matzenberg, Ratzenberg, and Spielberg have only one agenda in their mind. We know that Katzenberg, Katzenberg, Ratzenberg, Matzenberg, Spielberg, and Geffen have only one thing on their mind, and it's not the uh, betterment of America. And yet they're all wealthy men. They're all super successful, and how they can unleash a man like this on the American way is beyond my, my... It shows you that liberalism is a mental disorder. It shows you that you could be a billionaire and successful beyond your wildest dreams and still be a moron. We see this over and over again. Still be suicidal when it comes to your own survival. We can see this over and over again. But this is only one man's opinion. And so if you want to go on and about, we could we could do this. There's a great article about it written by WND. It's up on michaelsavage.com, which I invite you to read. Incidentally, it's what I wrote. Uh, it's based upon what I said yesterday on the show. What else is in the news?